Ok, ciao ragazzi, ciao. finalmente siamo a Firenze, come potete vedere il Duomo alle nostre spalle, guarda che bello che è, guardate che that. bello che è il Duomo. This is our best view, view. ever. <laughs> yes, and, um, and nothing, so what are we talking about about Firenze, amore? Well, I think we wanted to just talk about first what we're doing here. Yes. Like what our plan is and a little bit about what we did the last time we were in Florence compared to this time. Yes. And then we can answer some questions about Florence too. Yes. So first of all, Ciao. <laughs> we came five years ago. Uh, it was winter. So the weather was eh, not nice like today, like no. beautiful, like nice. Yesterday was so hot. And today it is today really is perfect. Perfect. So we go around, we go back to eat where we was eating at other places for see it's still like good like last time. I think the, the main difference is the last time was the first time that I had been to Florence. Yeah. You'd been before, but it was our first time together. Yes. And we tried to do all the, the touristy things. Yeah. We did the Florence Pass, which you can buy. We claimed the Duomo until up there. Up there. <laughs> up there. <laughs> and then we did the, the bell tower too. Um, but with the Florence Pass, you pay like a flat fee. At that 70, time, it was 70, 70 euros. euros. I don't know how much it is and, now. And you have 48 hours for go. It can make anything that you want. There's a huge list of museums and attractions you can use to see the Florence Pass. So it's very worth it if you are like us and you're ready to just go. Super worth go, it. Go, 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 go. And the good thing is Florence is a small city. It's very walkable, so you can knock off a lot in oh, one yeah. day. We use that thing like crazy. I think we, we calculated it up. Yeah. And our... You got it? Okay. Uh, yeah. Our total for the Florence Pass was $70 per person. We calculated up how much money we would have spent on tickets to the museums that we went to. And it was like $180 yes. per so, person. So we saved a ton of money. Saved so much money. And it so was it money. was so nice because we were really ready to do all the touristy things. Yes. We did the Uffizi. We did the Academia where we saw David. This, all the, the other power. Uh, the Giotto. Palazzo Vecchio. Yes. And then... Pitti Palace. Pitti so Palace. Things. So and then, so much. But this time, since we did all the touristy things before, we were trying to just kind of be in sure. Florence. Yeah. Just live. Even for what we know, you know, because we're looking for the house and other things. So we try to figure out what city. So tomorrow we go San Gimignano and then we go Siena. Which are both in Tuscany. Yes. So, um, yeah, then that is it. And then we go Rome for see Rome. And we're doing a little bit of a circle of Italy. So, yes, people are asking, are we in Italy right now? Yeah. We are. This is not a <laughs> green <Italy>. screen. <laughs> this Actually, is real. <laughs> it's real. It's real. It's not a green screen. We're lucky because Alessio found the most amazing Airbnb mm -hmm. with this incredible view. Mm -hmm. And there's actually a terrazza on the other side. Yeah. But we tried to go out there and it was really windy. So we it, decided. We will try to make, yeah, over there the, the life. But with the wind, I think it was ah, too much. But you're going to see this Airbnb in the next video in YouTube. And even we're vlogging this We're whole vlogging thing. everything. So if you want to see this apartment or not but i found this so a lot of people ask me is much better hotels or airbnb well <laughs> <laughs> last time we go hotels and this time for the price i suggest airbnb yes because it's cheaper you have a nice space you get amazing views respect one room hotel right and in florence the hotel was so much noisy if you don't take really up up uh, uh, bedrooms like uh, junior uh, suite or stuff like that not only noisy from the outside noise but noisy from, from the, the lobby people. and from people going back and forth and things we had a bad hotel experience here the last time we yeah. were here so i decided to go airbnb but sometimes some cities is much better hotels, hotels. it kind of depends it's kind of depends but one this, good thing about yeah. hotels I'm sorry I, yeah. don't no, no, no. I was just gonna say one good thing about hotels is if you get a hotel that has a breakfast 
in Italy, the breakfast is a much wider range of foods than necessarily in the U.S. that we're used to. You can have all the pastries and things, but they also give bread, cheese, prosciutto, tomatoes, all these savory foods that you can actually make sandwiches at the breakfast bar and yes. take them around with you. That's what we do a lot when we Last stay in hotels. Last time we did that, yeah. Because you can have a sandwich, you have lunch already there. So you have breakfast at the hotel, lunch from the hotel, and then you can treat yourself for dinner. Yes. A little hack. Nice. Yes. <laughs> and then that was amazing hack because we was make a sandwiches and then we go around eating and then eating in the night a good meal like we will spend for steaks and stuff because average to people you're gonna spend 60 60 euros per per meal if you yeah. take pasta especially wine, in the city center especially in the city center yeah it is a lot of street food too uh, but with four dollars you got it but uh it depends how you want because we was like cheap in the in the day because we was try to do more so much so, we so much because that time we would try three days yeah and, three and days. we try to do so much in three days so actually we will try non-stop too much because you can lose uh, an hour for that and then the start that i know florence has it sometimes you go it is the lines to do fitzy until you so lost so long <laughs> and with that thing we skip the lines we too. did because yeah, also with the florence pass you can skip the line so it it's is super worth super it super worth it. for 70 years for two people is super worth it so that is what you have to do it you just go online and then you type florence uh um florence city pass city pass and then they is i don't know the price right now if it's still but again if you're only wanting to do like one or two museums it might not be worth it yeah because you might just buying the ticket exactly for the thing that you want to go see whereas we were trying to like go crazy go. <laughs> then another thing maybe you saw from the short that we did yesterday it is the scams in florence mm -hmm. so i have so many scams not only in florence but scams to watch out for all over when we yeah. go to rome if i see the one that they do in rome i'll videotape it for yeah. you guys but this if who don't watch yesterday the video pretty much it is like they put in the painting on the on the ground and they are always where is um a building to watch because they know that people maybe watching you're looking up you're taking looking at the pictures view. you're not looking where you're walking and they, they put this painting uh really narrow you know the path they try to do like that some sometimes the standing in the middle so maybe you distract you then you walk in on top and they're gonna start yelling you and say, "Oh no, you need to pay. You ruined my paint. You need to pay me." Da, 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 da. Uh, so first of all, uh, that is not even a paint. It is, I think. Uh, I saw one guy today. He oh, had like a piece of chalk, and he would go down and pretend to pretend to paint his painting. Oh my but... god, so funny! I tell oh my god, please, please, and oh my god. By the way, if you step, don't give money and then say, I need to call the police. Yeah. Oh, no. You're shaking the... Oh, I'm shaking the... Yeah. Tip, sorry. <laughs> I, you need a... I call the police. Right. You could even say like, oh, I'll pay you if we walk over to the police station or the police. And then... Yeah. Yeah. It's me so many people uh, try to... Um, do that and then some people give maybe a year or two years but don't do it don't do it just say i call the police or start screaming in english we actually words. got to see them when a police car drove by we were close to the duomo mm -hmm. and a police car drove by and they scrambled to pull up all their paintings because obviously what they're doing is illegal so as soon as they i think they have like a scout because yeah. they started to pull it up before the police car came by so they're like oh look go oh, go yeah. go and hide the fact that they were doing it and then we saw another one on the Ponte Vecchio today yes so we have a question how is Flores at night so beautiful beautiful <laughs> yeah it's really safe so if you look if that is the the thing it is in my opinion I mean I never go out like 2 a.m sometimes I never been here in Florence that night but if in the day in the, like 
between dinner time to midnight walking around the city, I, yes. it's totally fine. And then, I the, mean, you have petty crime to watch out for, like pickpocketing, which is all over. Like it could be anywhere, but probably in the summer you can walking around really easy uh, because it's a lot of people on the roads. In winter time, you know, it's not too much people here. So I suggest go go home like like 10, on, no, not 10, no, but 11, 30, something like that. We yeah. like to be in bed early. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, yeah, but, but yeah. it's totally, it, I feel very safe in Florence. Oh yeah, yeah, but I feel safe in every, almost every city, but it is, dangerous is all over the place yeah. so the best thing though to do like in the evening or the night i guess after dinner is to just take a walk yeah can you get me my water i yeah. feel like my my throat is dry thank you but yeah take a walk with everybody after dinner passeggiata i shake the table <laughs> it's so nice i love passeggiata through yes through italy Okay, let's do some questions. I was gonna say one oh. thing though, because we talked about how last time we did all the touristy sites, but this time we we're trying to do a little bit more of like a casual around Florence trip. We went to a lot of hidden gems. Oh yes, that aren't very well known, and we filmed them for the vlog. So I think you guys are gonna really enjoy. Really, seeing really good gems. These little things, like I. I always approve doing touristy things if it's your first time in a city. Yeah. I think they're amazing sites for a reason. Everybody's like, oh, I don't want to see touristy things. I want to avoid tourist traps or not tourist traps, like touristy things like the museums and the Duomo and things. If you've never done that, 100% do it because I loved climbing up that yes. thing. It is incredible. So many steps at this part. So this part here or this part here because it is oh yeah we have double, double. live going guys so, here so and there. for youtube is this and for facebook, facebook this, it's this that. part is rough it's a lot of stairs yeah but you're going very steep stairs really steep stairs it's rough i mean everything is rough but i don't know how many steps are but is worth it yes a hundred percent yeah but that's the thing like everybody always asks oh we don't want to do touristy things when we're there if you've never done it do it it's yeah. so worth it but if you have extra days to fill while you're here or you come for another trip and you want to see something different maybe these little hidden fun gyms to seek out around the city are are mm -hmm. gonna be for you yeah. so we're excited to put that vlog together we're gonna finish filming it this evening and then we'll we'll edit it. It'll be our next Sunday. It's the next probably. vlog, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's the next vlog. If if you we can uh, editing so fast, yeah. I hope. Yeah. We have Italian Wi-Fi situation yeah. here, so let's see. So, Do we recommend Venice or is it overhyped? Totally recommend Venice. I totally recommend Venice. Is but well, is this where I'm from? Almost. I'm more northeast. Uh, I love Venice. It is like, uh, it's really a small city. Depend what you want to do in Venice. Because if you just want to just walking around, just eating one day, it is enough, you know? But if you want to look some sites, it is like, you need three days yeah. at least. Because it is Murano. You have to go take All Murano. All the little islands off, off of off Venice. The, uh, you have to go see Murano. It's beautiful. The city of the... Uh, glass so in the san marco san marco with the gold mosaic ceiling yeah. is beautiful yeah there's a lot to do in, in venice but keep in mind that because there aren't any actual roads there's just like little Path. paths and what is that alleyways and bridges yeah it can get pretty uh compact yeah in the big tourist you can to be lost I mean, it is oh, yeah. the, it <laughs> it's is really the easy to get it lost is where to go, but if you try to go around <laughs> the people, so yeah. It is very easy to get lost, but yeah. actually fun because the first time we went to Venice, we discovered a really good restaurant because we got lost. We got off the beaten track. We were wandering around through the alleyways and we heard a bunch of Italians speaking and laughing. So we we're like, oh, let's go check that out. And so we kind of wandered off and we found this really good restaurant with yeah. a lot of locals in there. Yeah. So. Don't be Thanks afraid to get lost for, either. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks up for Venice. Venice is amazing. And do the gondola if you can. Yes. 
So it is 80 euros, the gondola. It's uh, a pricey thing, so you need to prepare for it. For it, yeah, but just do it because it is amazing. I did two times. It's so good. So try. in the beginning, <laughs> I was thinking, oh, so tourist, so tourist. Yeah, I never appreciate it. like, oh, don't do it, whatever. Uh, because I'm from there, so why I need to go with the gondola? And I was like, please, let's go in the gondola. So I bring Jesse, I think, oh, wow, this is the best thing ever i never did it's cool because we okay we've been twice on the gondola and i i remember we said this once on like a post that we made mm -hmm. and somebody commented under and we're like oh it was so tight and like full when we went so it could be depending on the day but two times we went and they were both great experiences because you get off the crowded streets and you're in mm -hmm. the the gondola canal and so it's more like you have the chance to see more of the old buildings. You can look under the water and see the first level of the buildings that are now underwater mm -hmm. because all of that first floor of all the, the buildings in Venice is submerged in water. Yeah. So you can look under, you can see the windows and the doors and everything. It's a really cool, different thing to see in Venice. Yeah, really beautiful. Somebody asked about gelato. How do you find good gelato in Italy? So actually, it's, it is you need to to try it. But one trap, the most big trap, it is when you see the ice cream so tall, so big, so beautiful with bright colors, bright colors, and lots of toppings. Like if it's a fruity flavor, they'll cover it with strawberries and yeah. pineapples. If it's chocolate, it's like covered with hot fudge and all this yeah. stuff. Don't don't go don't there. Do it. Now they start to be sneaky because sometimes now they start yeah, to see the videos. We noticed this. So we were walking around because yesterday. Maybe they know okay, Italians start say to the to the people, don't go with the mountain thing. Not so only they that, figure though. out. Oh, sorry. Yeah, they figure out. So what they doing, it is they try to make flat, but yeah, the colors <laughs> but the colors is really bright. So if pistacchio is green. Like green, like what you would think mint green. Mint. No. It's a big no. Pistachio is like brown. That's one of the best ways to tell because like Lesio said, I think with all the social media and all the like easy videos to see everywhere about tips and things, a lot of people say watch out for the mounds of gelato because that used to be the thing. They would make huge, these beautiful mounds of gelato to attract tourists. Now they're catching on, so they're making it flat and low because that used to be the tell. Yeah. But it's still not good gelato. They're just trying to trick you. So look for the pistachio. Pistachio yeah. in Italian, pistachio in English. Look at the color. If it looks like baby poop, like Is that brownish, greenish, awful looking color, it's the good, Is that? Yeah. real deal. So, yeah. Let's that see. Some other questions? Yeah. Do they take Amex or Visa or MasterCard? So in Italy, everybody take Visa. Mm, that's a safe bet. You MasterCard, no, a lot of people take MasterCard. Uh, actually, you you struggle to find MasterCard. No, sorry, sorry, sorry. American Express. American Express, As, yeah. Ameri because it's the high fee and nobody have it. So Visa, you go really safe. MasterCard. No, everybody take it, but Visa, you can go all over the place. Mm -hmm. You might still get some people like for taxis or things that will ask you for cash because they prefer cash sometimes. But, but everybody now, I think. Yeah, but you takes, say if you have oh, no I have credit, credit card, card they take, take a credit, credit card. So don't worry about that. I saw a question about restaurants too. Should we talk about restaurants and eating in city centers like Florence, for example? Yeah. Because one thing that we will say, just because you're in Italy does not mean that you're going to eat good. Yeah. You can find bad food here just like you can anywhere else. Anywhere else, and of course. And it's super easy to find bad food in city centers like Naples, Milan, Florence, yeah. Rome, Venice, all those big cities. Because, why don't you say it, Monet? Because they know that the tour is coming and they go away the next day. So they don't need to make a big quality food. So in when you are in the city, city center, it's easy to, 
to find a place where it's not amazing. But we did a video uh, is where we find the best gelato, the best uh, where we go to the trattoria, even if it's close uh, sites, really good sites. It's is, still good. It's still good. So, of course, if you go out from Florence, it is the best, but no people can go out because they don't have a if rental car. Here, yeah, exactly. If you're here for vacation, yeah. it's not so easy to just head 20 minutes outside so, of town. Yeah. So in the video, we're going to show you best ice cream and uh, some trattorie. Some I'm not thing. kidding. I want to go back and get another scoop of gelato. It was amazing. But, yeah. <laughs> it was so good. Um, I was also going to say, too, when you see restaurants that have like big pictures of the food on their menus outside or everything's written in English, it's not even written in Italian, mm -hmm. I would be careful about those. I'd be careful. But, you know, sometimes you're angry, so. Yeah. Um, can we talk about more of the scams in Italy that we should be aware of and what happens? So... Alessio talked about the scam that's going on a lot here with the paintings on the ground. I I will say the Rome scam. Okay. Um, one thing that they like to do in Rome is they'll have like these bracelets. It, they come in like this with some nice uh, fancy bracelets. Not fancy. They're like and they immediately, bracelets. They immediately or... put in you and they tell you so many good things. You... Oh, you're so beautiful. This is a gift and you think... for the beauty that you are. <laughs> You yeah. think that you're going to be able to pull your hands back or you're going to be, but no, you're they, looking at something over here. They come up they come and they just in. like put it on your arm really, really fast. And then they want money. They want one year or two years, whatever. Yeah. But. It's not like they're like asking a lot, but they're asking a couple of euros for these bracelets that you probably don't really want. Yeah. Um, And so you need to just say non grazie, non grazie. and pull your hand back. And if they put it on your your wrist say take it off and say non grazie yeah. they usually have like a basket or something you just put it back in there and say non grazie move on um another one is the change that one i saw in venice a lot because it's such a tight space so this is a sneaky one even alessio almost fell for this one <laughs> because it's a, a concept yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah because it's something that plays on your you're just uh what's the word i'm thinking your habits oh, or yeah, your habits, whatever. you are not aware of stuff. So there. you're walking around in a big crowded piazza and you'll hear a bunch of change, like fall all the down. coins fall down on the ground. So you turn around. So you're like, oh, what happened? What, what happen? happened? And you either get confused and turn around, or if you're close, you bend over to help this person pick up their change. And while you're helping or distracted, they're picking your pockets. Yeah, they take your wallet, your wallet, your phone, all your stuff. So if you hear the change, change it's just change. Just, go, just, just go don't straight. look. <laughs> just keep going. Only stop. Only if you see paper. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is true. Grab the money Grab it and no. go. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that one is really sneaky because you're just distracted. You hear a bunch of coins fall down. You automatically think, "Oh, someone needs help." It's a sneaky one. Yeah. Um, Let's do the next. What other questions? How about a gelato taste test like the macarons? <laughs> <laughs> a whole like a lot of gelato to eat. A lot a of gelato. Lot of Actually, gelato. we're gonna go tomorrow to the best gelateria in Italy. Said where is the I didn't know we were doing that? Yeah. You surprised me. I'm excited. I love gelato. The number one gelateria in Italy is in San Gimignano. So we're gonna try it. I'll be the judge. They are that. always, always winning, 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 winning. So we're gonna be there and try the best gelato in Italy. So uh, I'm gonna judge that. Yeah. <laughs> the, what's your gelato order? I take Nutella and pistacchio today, example. My go-to is pistacchio and stracciatella. Yeah. I can never go wrong with pistacchio. It's my favorite. Yeah. What is a unique souvenir to bring back from Florence or Italy in general? So actually this ties into another question that people were talking about. I saw somebody ask about the leather. The leather. The leather. So the big like souvenirs that people think about when they come to Florence is leather goods, um, like Pinocchio. perfume, <laughs> Pinocchio. Perfume. perfumes and like soaps and things like that and jewelry gold jewelry. and jewelry Ponte because Vecchio. you've got Ponte Vecchio where all the jewelry stores are but um 
so to talk about the leather really fast, be careful with the open air markets, the leather markets that you see, like it smells good. It smells like real leather. You're walking around. It looks beautiful. A lot of those things can be like knockoffs. If you want to find leather, I would recommend like going into Google, searching leather First before leather. Find actual real leather like shops, shops that are here have been here for a long time and that they still do the old fashioned um, molding. Like a lot of the I think a lot of people like to buy like pill boxes or jewelry boxes because it's something little and something affordable without mm -hmm. buying like a five hundred dollar bag or something. But you want to look for stores that still do the leather the old fashioned way. So they'll like heat up the leather, or wet the leather or something and put it over these molds to make the little boxes and they're decorated. They're really pretty. But just make sure that you find a reputable source. Yeah. Um, what I bought for my souvenir <laughs> this time was I got the the Marvis toothpaste, the Florentine toothpaste. It started. I bring it. Yeah, go get my toothpaste. <laughs> such a funny thing to buy but i was like i didn't get the marvis toothpaste the last time i was here but this toothpaste brand started in um florence and they're really well known because technically it's a luxury toothpaste it's really good actually but it's a really nice toothpaste but they have like 12 different kind of unique flavors like they have ginger mint they have licorice which i don't like but some people like it they have um, cinnamon, like different kinds of toothpaste. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> if you want something kind of funky, that's fun. Another thing is the little Pinocchios, like Alessia said. Pinocchio's nice. It's we got a little here. Pinocchio ornament for our Christmas tree. Stationery in Florence can be really beautiful because their paper goods are really pretty here with lots of decorations. So that's another affordable souvenir. Yeah. And then... Oh, you were going to talk about the perfume and what it is? Well, the perfume, but even here it is in the video, the next video. Oh, textiles. Sorry, I was going to say. Yes. That the next video is going to be the best perfume in the world. And uh, that... It is amazing. It is amazing. <laughs> I hate perfumes, but then you're going to find out what we're talking about next video. I am in love with that. That this was I... amazing. Wow. Amazing. Dai, let's do uh, fast questions, eight minutes to the end. Pancetta flavored toothpaste, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they like how you say perfume. Perfume. Because you say perfume instead of perfume. Perfume in English, <laughs> profumo in Italiano, so I profumo, try to... Profumo, yeah. <laughs> working on it. Uh, let's see. Okay, so... Any other questions? Jesse's smile is beautiful. Oh, thank you. Yes. Then. I am leaving Friday for Florence. What restaurant would you recommend? Uh, well. We have the videos coming. It's coming, but he coming here Friday. Yeah, let's like, so we, this is a restaurant that we, we had last time we were here five years ago. We really liked it. So we were interested to come back again this year mm -hmm. and try it and see if it was still good it is in the santa croce piazza mm -hmm. so basilica de santa croce and it's close to if you're looking at the cathedral you look to the left it's on the corner it's called finestraia finestraia yeah. finestraia <laughs> a hard it's name really but hard. it's the only one to the last, it's the only one. You cannot be wrong. It is uh, open. It is a lot of people outside. It it's is a yellow really... building. Yeah, the doors are small. Yeah. Um, and they have kind of they have an outside area, and then they've got like a cafe in the front, and then the restaurant in the back. It's yeah. really good. Okay. Do we want that thing? What is happening? this? Okay. Then. Oh, how are the trains? And is it e easy to travel with the train? I filmed, finally, I filmed our train experience for you guys. I'm so excited to make that little video. It is really easy. Uh, actually, we're going to have train, car, and bus. We do everything. Yeah, we're so really taking on that public transportation. Cheap is the bus. The train, obviously, is easy and fast. Yes. But in this case, because we go Sina with the car... 
Yeah, because for go around to Florence, I take the car. Okay, if you wanted to go other places, Val d'Orcia, you have to have a car. But if you do just cities, you can do from Florence, you take the train, you go Siena, you can take the train. But the train, for example, Siena to Rome, they make you go back to Florence and then from Florence go to Rome. So it's extra time. Extra time. So in that case, I take the bus and then 20 euros, two people. So nice. And it was easy. And then it's take the same time because they the train. Have you ever done the bus though? I never For long the distance like this? No. Well, maybe when I was young. But, oh, yeah. Yeah, but no. We did a small bus trip once yeah and it was fine so this will be our first like long distance bus it is two hours trip. and 40 minutes but the trains the train are awesome. was three hours of 40 so i have a love of trains like i've always loved trains when i was little i wanted toy trains and things so the trains are beautiful spacious highly recommend but you need to take <laughs> take the tickets in advance really in advance so train italia or italo is the two places yes. you need to take the train. There's two companies. Italo is the cheapest. Trenitalia is, Trenitalia, it is the highest. If you are coming here in high season, your risk is not train for you. So you need to take in advance the tickets uh, at least a week or at least a week. But if you A plus, it's cheaper. More you go close to the day, it's, it's really expensive. expensive. Like even 100 euros, I take close because I don't know yet my itinerary. If we take $100 for two, when 60, I mean, it's $40 more. Right. The so, difference. It, it is $40 here, $40 there, and then, you know, plus taxes. Oh, Santa Claus. Ciao, hey! Santa. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? <laughs> we still need to do a, a video. Yes. Um, I was going to say, though, that so if you know your your trip route go ahead and buy your tickets yeah. now somebody asked about yes like pictures sorry pictures I couldn't remember like can you take pictures everywhere yes do you need to ask first are there any uh regulations for pictures in the church i think they make you not uh I've seen people take pictures in the church with but like no big flash. cameras. Yeah, no flash. No That's flash. the thing. No flash in the museums or the churches. Um, but I've seen people walk in. But it, mm, sometimes maybe the churches, they can be a little bit strict about that. Strict. But everything else, we go inside, we film but everywhere. With your phone and stuff, you can with definitely phone, take you pictures can do anything. everywhere. We go with the big camera to, to do it. But not in churches because we already did. But yeah. I think you can do anything. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I'm going to backpack around Italy with a train this summer, and I'm very excited. Oh, it's going to oh, be yes. fun. Oh, yes. It's going to be amazing. Yeah. You're going to love that. So when you we move here, you should open your own travel guide service. How fun would that be? <laughs> so we exploring to try to come here to living to be honest we're looking some houses um in my area now we try to have the feelings from toscany right because we said in our video <laughs> our three options are alessio's home tuscany or the lakes mm -hmm. so like lake maggiore lake como. como lake garda so we're trying to feel it out you it's know? a big decisions guys it is every time i'm thinking when when i I want to go, but ooh, some shaking uh, because U.S. is not bad, like actually place. But I feel here more um, life, you yeah, know? and more you like nice, more Bella Vita. Bella Vita. <laughs> I need to decide if it's gonna be the work or it's gonna be the Bella Vita. Jesse already decided the Bella, Bella Vita. Vita. <laughs> I'm. <gasps> and then, and then we'll see. Yes, Andrew. Finally broke Alessio to buy the castle. He still won't buy that castle. I'm going to buy this. But we're going to buy a different castle. I'm going to buy I'm going to convince him. I think I need to find one that's a little less of a project. Really big less be... project because that castle it is a huge <laughs> project. Uh, by the way, we filmed that castle. It's going to come that video too. Yeah. Jesse. Uh, insane. 
I love that place. But it's it, just it's too much to Alessio's to concerned about the amount of work. So because I know Italy. So we're gonna find a different castle with less. Work. I know Italy <laughs> when now it is a really problems like try to make electric. Uh, it is so much request. But and there's all already that electric can't... in there, Mori. Oh, it is already yes. there. It's a big place, uh, guys. You're you're thinking about the outside buildings. The outside buildings are in very poor condition, but the main house. Is it is good. so huge. I don't know why I'm it so is, like now. I'm gonna try and I, sell it to you again. <laughs> hundred people can live there. Yeah. Easy, easy. Hundred people. Wouldn't it be an amazing hotel, a bed and breakfast, a restaurant, a wedding venue? Could be, but. <laughs> nah, more two questions, yeah. Amore. Um, can you put salt and oil in the water for pasta? Salt, yes. Salt, yes. Uh, oil, no, because that was a long time tradition that it was put in the oil because they're thinking that the oil uh, no make touch the uh, sticky the pasta. But in real life, pasta. but <laughs> in real life, the oil will stay on top because chemically, and then the pasta don't touch. Actually. When then the oil oil you put on the scola pasta, I don't know how to call it, when you throw away the water, the oil will go to the pasta and mm -hmm. the sauce don't, in the beginning, don't touch. And then you can put after, after on, is yeah, on, top. On, on top, you put the oil oil, but not in that process. So just salt, it's the salt from Mediterranean Sea, that don't make sticky the pasta. Pasta fresca, some people use it because the pasta fresca, it is really, really sticky, but I cook pasta fresca, no need it, mm. oil oil. You need it to stirring and put salt from Mediterranean Sea. I saw a question about pricing for trips. Mm. I, I flew by, I didn't catch it, but I think it was something like, how much can we expect to spend without airfare included? I said, if you are easy to eat, like a small meal, a one full meal, $70, $70 a, a day. Per person? No. For a couple? Yeah. yeah. You can arrive max 85. Yeah. It depends because like, it depends on what you want to do and where you like, what kind of foods you want to eat. If you're an average person and you want to eat like a nice dinner like we said earlier and you want to see a museum a day then definitely yeah. i always calculate 100 euros you know but then i careful. never spend that i never spend that because one day maybe you spend 100 euros but the day after maybe you eat a schiacciatina is eight euros for two people in the evening i don't know something small yeah. and then maybe you spend uh like 30 euros that we all, day. Exactly. We always like to eat light during the day when we're walking around because, number one, I don't want to eat a huge meal and then, yeah. like, walk through the city and try and go to a museum. So it's always, like, a, a little sandwich, like, on the street food sandwiches or, you know, those little pizzas, a that pizza. street pizza, things like that, um, and then save our... Big yeah. meal for I don't know if it's dinner. help, but a, a pasta here it is between uh, fourteen to seventeen euros. A plate of pasta. Yes, that's a good. That is the the thing, and uh, but remember the portions are a lot smaller here. Eighty than grams, if, like yeah. yeah. If you go to the U.S., yeah, it's not so, Olive Garden. No, <laughs> it's not going to be a big plate of pasta. No, but it's a good portion. It's in a good my portion. Opinion. Yeah. Um, do we like pasta integrale? Actually, actually we've been we eating just eating pasta integrale recently. <laughs> actually, we eat, start eating juice, pasta integrale, everything uh, integrale. Yeah, we are big on integrale. Like in English, it is a uh, whole grain. Whole grain, yes. Actually, today we eat the best whole grain pasta in the in the Easter. It was that place in close to the. It was delicious, uh, guys. The it church had that we talked about before. Asparagus and. What's that spicy salami called? Nduya. Uh, Nduya. I don't know how to say it. Nduya. Yeah. So good. Um, but it was integrale pasta and it, they did it very well. Yeah. L last question. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. 
Okay. So which one you want to take? The Airbnb? No. Take this. I no, might. it's not a question. Sorry. Uh, if uh don't have my glasses yeah. on. <laughs> if it is uh, I miss some food from uh Italy, I miss everything because I cannot find nothing about oh. in the United States. Uh, really, really appetite. Yeah. So the only thing that he was able to find that he liked in the U.S. It was the, in New York. The things that we ate in New York. And, and that's it. Everything else, no. Otherwise, we just cook at home by ourselves. Yeah. So for Italian food, yeah, it's everything. <laughs> Okay, ragazzi, so next time we're going to go to San Gimignano. We're going to keep doing some lives here and there, and then we're going to post some videos. I am and, so excited to explore and, Tuscany. Yes, and that's it. So now we need to run, get the waiting us, okay, we have a, a small dinner, and that's it. And we'll so, see you next time. Love ciao, you ragazzi. guys. Oh, wait, let's like give one more good oh. view of the, the beautiful background Fi here. Firenze. Look at that. All right, guys. Ciao. Ciao.